In this session we discuss YouTube badges. And what I'm looking for here are nice badges that I can place on my website that would just be a little graphical representation of a link that somebody can click on and come back to my channel. And this is as opposed to, say, embedding an entire video. And we're going to talk about putting those badges on both a blog and a website. The first thing we need to do, however, is find where YouTube keeps such badges. If you go to your channel and then you pull down your username here in these options, click on account, and down here toward the bottom you want to click on about and then scroll down to the bottom and click on creators corner. From here you're going to find a lot of really good resources, but what we want to do today is just go to Downloads. And here's where you're going to find some sample buttons or badges that you can place on your website or your blog. Now, it's not limited to these badges, there are actually a lot more. If we pull down this Choose Your Banners pull down menu here. We have some simple YouTube buttons we have some I love YouTube buttons, subscribe to my video buttons, some as seen on YouTube buttons, and then also YouTube Superstar and watch me on YouTube. And those are the ones that I like the best. So then what we would do is click on the badge that we actually want to place. And again, as with all badges, it's going to show us some code. We're going to copy that code. Once we're at Appearance and Widgets, we're going to scroll down toward the bottom. And this is on WordPress. You'll find something similar on other blogging platforms. So this is specifically how it works on WordPress.com. You want to place that text widget somewhere in one of your sidebars or your widget areas. Then we're going to place that code give it a title and click Save. Now the other thing I want to do in this case is actually pull that up toward the top above the other badges that I placed on this blog. So to see what the badge looks like we will click on the blog and see that here is now our badge which will take us directly to my YouTube channel. So to do the same thing on a website, we'll go ahead and look at the sample page that we're going to use in this example. And then open Dreamweaver, or open the file, the HTML file in Dreamweaver. And we want to find the area first that we want to place our badge. And then once we find where we want to place the badge, which is underneath our LinkedIn badge here, I'm going to hit Enter. And then once I find where I want to actually place the code, in the visual area. I want to put my cursor so it's in the relatively the right area and then go up here to the code view and see where the cursor is. So I know I want it to go after the LinkedIn badge if it is right here. So I'm going to hit enter there and then I'm going to paste my code and then go back down into the design view here. And you notice in this case that we have an odd blue border around this. The way to fix that in Dreamweaver is to highlight the image and then go here to the border area and hit zero. You can also place that right into the HTML code if you know that. And now the border has gone away. But let's go ahead and view this as it will show up on the web page and there's our badge that will take us back to YouTube. So that concludes this session of talking